What's up everybody? This is the Beast and Jay coming at you with that Destiny beta gameplay. Um I'm about 2 hours into the game and about 3 hours behind in my recording schedule because uh jeez, I don't know what's going on. My stuff's a mess today. I'm 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 down on my last resort here. I hope this does the trick. Um I've recorded like five videos before this one trying to get this together for you and it just was not working out um so let's hope this is working out this time uh here's my character i'm playing as a warlock there are three classes in the game um here's the titan he's like the soldier class here we have uh i don't remember which other oh, hunter that's like the uh, precision class sniper and then you get your warlock, which is me. It's like a mage, a wizard, a, a, a magic class, if you're not familiar. Um, so let's log in with my warlock here. And we're going to take like a probably like a good half hour look at the game, I'm thinking. Okay. So this is your warp ship. This is how you get around from place to place. You just go into set destination. And um, these are different places you can go. The tower is your main hub. That's where you go to rearm and um, regroup, as a as a little description says there. You can get gear, etc. But we're gonna go to Earth first, and we're gonna go to this active mission first. Take a look at the, uh, just jump right into some gameplay. Um, yeah. So my first impressions. The game's beautiful. It's a great first-person shooter. It's a great RPG. Reports, a team of guardians um, went dark near the old sky Peter watch. Dinklage is the man. They were running a mission he plays your AI companion, uh, which they call a ghost. Other colonies in the system. And he's super, super codes, awesome. <laughs> That's all I can really say about him. Uh, he's he's a great actor. I love his voice work in this game. Um. So yeah, we're just waiting for this to get in, and I'll show you guys some of the ins and outs. Probably gonna be. Dropped right into the an open field here, so the ghosts were last yep. heard from near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. Okay, so first things first. Uh, I've had a couple of upgrades. Well, what do you say we just show off some of the gunplay here and take out this enemy? I also have a grenade. I believe it's called void walking. Um, I have this glide jump here is what I was originally going to show you. It's a nice little floaty jump there. A floaty jump for you, laddies. Um, so this is my primary weapon right now. I will show you the rest of the uh, weapons list once I'm out of the firefight because they'll keep attacking you. There's no, there's no pause really. Um, but I can show you my shotgun, <laughs> which is the best. Get over here. Boom. Oh, my God. Can we just... Where's his head? Where's his head? It's gone. Anywho. So, right there, what you just saw me pick up is ammo. You have to work for your ammo in this game. There's no ammo crates just laying around. There's You, you got to pick up ammo from killing enemies. Um, and this gun in particular is my special weapon. And it will require special ammo, which will drop as green cubes instead of the white ones. The white ones fuel your primary weapon. Like so. So let's take a quick look at the menu. Here are your weapons. Your primary weapons are all listed here. In this block, I only have one other one right now. This is your special weapons. I have three of those. We are going to equip this bad boy right here, right now, as our special weapon. Um, and here's all your gear. You have different helmets you can acquire. We'll throw that on. And it gives you the stats. And, and as you can see here, it shows you the appearance as well um these are all your gauntlets your 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 uh, chest armor your boots and then your class armor um which is bonded to your class specifically as you can see so uh they do have different perks these gauntlets i have specifically right now increase the um the amount of time it takes for my grenades to cool down so I can use that special route more frequently. Um, let's take out these punks. Try to get some special ammo for this new guy. 
also I haven't I I I haven't noticed it like um anything that resembles an MMO really to be quite honest with you I've noticed it's a, it's a very very much an RPG um but I haven't like been dumped into a world where I'm just constantly there's like all these other players around and um things of that nature oh boy this is not looking good for our heroes um there was a live event that I have seen taking place once um, and I am very, very early on in the game, so who knows? I, don't, I really couldn't tell you what this game is going to turn into. Um, but it, I haven't noticed it, any any kind of heavy MMO elements, really, other than the players do pop up in your world from time to time. Um, yeah, so let's try to get to the objective here. We'll get moving. Um, well, can't let you go. Can I... It's good that we take out some of these guys now because they're going to be very useful. Um, we're going to get our special ammo from them before we head to the main mission and take on bosses and things like that. And they're also going to help us supercharge, which you will see comes in very much handy. Here's some other players. You can go say hi to them. Uh, so if you take out your touchpad, well, if you touch the touchpad, if you're on the PS4, it takes out your ghost. And that brings you into um, observation mode, I believe, I believe it's called. And that's how you summon this bad boy. And that's how you get around the world. No running. You can run if you want, but I don't know why you would with this little sucker. I love this thing so much. So we're just going to get going. They seem to be heading in the same place as me. But um, we're on YouTube, so we're not going to wait. We're going to keep on going. Um, so yeah, that's the Sparrow. The Sparrow's awesome. I'm a big fan. And what we're going to do right now... Um, we're going to use that Supercharge. Which my every, every class has a different Supercharge. My class, the Warlock class, uh, does this brutal, brutal, brutal Kamehameha type of move. Booyah! Which you have just witnessed here. Um, so that does it for him, pretty much. You know what I mean? I don't know what the other... I, I, I know the Titan's supercharged move is like a ground pound type of deal. Um, and I don't know the Hunters. I know he has a, he has a golden gun. I don't know if that's the special or not. I think it is, though. What is happening? What is going on, you guys? We're heading back through that hive breeding ground. The vanguards say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. Okay, now what we're gonna witness here, um, very shortly I suspect, is a, is known as a dark zone, in which you cannot die in the dark zones. We're not in one yet. It will, it'll notify me if we are. Should really probably have my shotgun out right now. But, um, yeah, the dark zones, you, you don't get to respawn. If you die, you have to start over. And it'll tell you whenever you're about to enter one. It won't just surprise you like that. Alright, lights off. Guns up. We're ready to roll. I appear to be... Outmanned here and outgunned, but it's not gonna stop us, is it? Whoa, that might. Get him out of here. The melee is really powerful in this game. No complaints there. You know what I really love too? I really love that we're in a point in time where the importance of that slide move there in first person shooters is recognized. I, I utilize that slide in every first person shooter that puts it in. I, I really... It adds a, a new element of uh, traversal for me, personally. 
so I like that that's in here. Um, the game is very much inspired by the influence. I'm not going to say it's inspired by Halo. It's not. It's it's very different from Halo. It's, it's completely different from Halo. Um, I say that because, if you don't know, the makers of Halo, Bungie, um, this game, this is their first game since Halo, in fact. And, um, yeah, you can see it in the enemies. I don't want to get too close because I don't want to die. Um, but let's see if we can get a quick look. You know, certain certain aspects of them uh, are definitely reminiscent of the Halo games. The soundtrack is very much um, reminiscent of the Halo games. But all in a good way. They, they take what they learned and they really, um, they really put it to good use. Let's see what this special uh, gun does. I haven't used it yet. I'm excited. Oh boy. So it just vaporizes them. That's awesome. So, as you can see, in a clearing between buildings not far from here. there's many different weapons, there's many different skills, there's a lot of variation here that's going to keep you hooked. And this game, um, about 45 minutes in, I'll say, dug its hooks right into me. Um, there are also elements of Borderlands. Not that Borderlands is the only game to do loot chests, but there are loot chests which just immediately reminded me of Borderlands. Uh, which I know I'm not the, the first person to recognize. The fallen have them. Let's see if we can... Yep, that was very, very successful there. It's dead. Keep hunting. Um, hey fella. I lost my train of thought I got so into it. So yeah, um... I just got completely addicted to this. Alright, we're gonna let it rip. Later. And now you can recollect those orbs, and that'll go towards this one still holds uh, building up. If you're if you're playing on a Let's team, find the array. when you use your special, those orbs that I just collected will go towards your team's special moves. Um, so that's that really um, it's a great way to incorporate team gameplay. As a friend of mine pointed out to me, my friend uh, Mike over at the Level Up Show. You guys should go check out their channel as well. Um, after you finish watching this, of course. Oh boy, where you at? Where you at, big guy? There he is. I got something special for you, hombre. So long. Alrighty, so we're heading on. See, I mean, there's they make great differences in like sometimes you feel like running and sometimes you feel like using the sparrow and I like that both are needed I like that they don't give you an excuse to just sit on your sparrow and fire away the sparrow doesn't have guns and that's on purpose they didn't want people to just sit and rock the sparrow the entire time they wanted people to get out and you know adventure through the world and try out the different weapons different skills so another thing your ghost can do if I hadn't mentioned is navigate for you Oh, that's what this mode's called. I'm sorry. Navigation mode. I just reminded myself. Um, so if you ever get lost, he'll show you where to go. Peter Dinklage will show you where to go. Um, when I first started the beta, I was horrific. I was not doing anything right. <laughs> and um, I caught on very quick, though. It's those, uh, those first-person shooter... Roots really, really come out fast. And then, of course, the RPG elements. You get to really get into the nitty gritty of customization and uh, really make these characters your own. And from what I've seen playing alongside of other random uh, characters in the world, they, they differ greatly. Other people's warlocks did not seem anything like mine. Something is growling its face off at me. Alright, we're just gonna keep on trucking. I wanna make sure we get to the uh I wanna make sure we get to the mission and objective here. Somebody follow me? The darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. So uh, I don't really understand anything about the story yet. Um, 
but from what I heard, it seems interesting. So as you see these waves right here, to cut myself off, it's a darkness zone. You can't die. Well, you can die, but you'll have to start over. So try not to die. Perfect. Supercharged. Ready for action. Um, I'm assuming we're getting to a boss fight. Not today. Get that special ammo. Got it. I like this gun a lot. Just vaporizing enemies, Star Trek style. I don't know, is that even from Star Trek? Is that a Star Trek thing? Could have just made some nerds very, very angry with me. Um, so while it's a little quiet on the front right here, I have two PlayStation 4 uh, Destiny beta codes that I would love to give out to you guys. Um, if you want one, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below why you think you deserve the beta code. And uh, yeah, I'll pick two people and give those out. I only have two. I wish I had more. Um, but I was given I was given two extra codes along with the game. Uh, well, along with my code from my pre-order. Um, so yeah, I, I would like to share those with you guys. So make sure you get, get down in the comments after you're finished here. So it's kind of a good thing that um, the other videos were failed attempts because I have a chance to, um, you know, show you all the various things. Because at, at the first I was like in the station. very beginning. This is it. Oh boy. And I didn't really have any skills or any weapons. Um, so now you can kind of get a good, a good idea of the, all the different variety that's involved with Destiny. I'm very nervous because in my experience so far the bosses are not to be trifled with alone. I don't know that there is a boss here, I'm just nervous that there might be. But I got that supercharge ready. Uh, captains are no are no walk in the park either. These drones seem to be easy to take out just like that. And they're everywhere here. Too shabby though. Oh, what is happening here? I didn't even know what I was getting myself into. Oh boy, am I still in the darkness zone? I hope not. Yep, I am. All right, so you see right there, that's the name of the game. You die, you go back, and that's the way it goes. The array control station is in the next sector. So let's keep on keeping on. Why not? I don't believe you lose experience though. Uh, if you die in a darkness zone, which is nice. And those guys do real damage with those swords. He's getting ready. He's getting ready to slice me and dice me. He didn't know. I was real prepared for that. I'm prepared this time. Fool me once. Fuck you. <laughs> That's the old phrase. That's how... 
The old phrase goes. Approaching the control station. This is it. Be gone, brother. Alright, let's see if I can't take out this guy from back here. That would be peachy keen. I take out some of them from back here. Got him. All right. That was a way better strategy than a uh, run up with no plan. Another little menu up there in the top right corner, or the top left corner, excuse me, is your motion tracker, as you probably already figured out for yourself. You can, uh, you know, detect which way the enemies are coming from just by checking out that. Sometimes you'll forget there's just so much that starts going on. Um, but it is very, very handy. So keep it in mind if you can when playing. Guys, these guys are messing with me. I've got time. Oh, what is oh gosh, how did I forget about that already? Nope. 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 Not today. Not today. They almost had me. But I was very unwilling to die. Where yet? Guards up. Guards up this time. Of course. I used my supercharge already. It's all right, we can do it still. So I've played many, many, many first person shooters in my time and um, you know, as anyone does, I get kind of sick of it. That was awesome. Just got to put There's that out the there. Controls. As I'll anyone, I get kind of sick work. of it after a while. I'm not sick. Of, I, I haven't felt that feeling. I've been playing this game for like three hours now. Um, and I haven't got that feeling yet from playing this. It's just it's just good all the time. Um, so we're going to deploy our ghost. He's going to fix us up. We're going to go look at this skull right here. Because that's weird and pretty cool. Okay, negotiating crypto systems. Shore resistance security lattice verified. And uh, as it's soon as working. we finish this up, we'll call it. Outside, the array. It's opening. Because my laptop battery is about to die. It's amazing. It's activated. Five tomb ships. Cutting through. Oh boy. Where, what do I do right now? What am I supposed to do right now? What the hell? Holy crap, old moly. What? I don't even know what just happened there. Um, well, that's as good a place as any, I guess, <laughs> to stop. Outside, you're right. It's opening. Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure you subscribe. If you Amazing. want those beta codes, make sure you comment in the comments below. 
uh, and let me know why you would like one and why you think you deserve one. So, um, I will also be having plenty of Destiny videos, Destiny beta videos coming this weekend. Um, so yeah, stay tuned to this channel, make sure you subscribe, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon.